you are going to become that agent because in this video i'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous listing presentation that is easy to put together in canva but more importantly going to help you win that listing i don't know why i have not released this kind of video on my channel yet don't ask me but what i am going to share with you at the end of this video is going to blow your mind because when i discovered it i was shook and then i remembered with Canva Pro, you become a professional and I show you how. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Let go. All right, here we are at the Canva homepage. Now if we take a look here, we have the presentations tab. Now you can create a presentation completely from a blank slate, but let's go ahead and search real estate and see what pops up. Okay, let's go further and look for presentation. Now we have templates in the presentation format. Now if we take a look here, this is a pro one, this one is a pro one. If you don't have Canva Pro and you wanna try Canva Pro, check out the link in my description box down below to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. Now in this case, these templates are free, this template's free, this template's free, and this template is free. So you just wanna be wary of what has that Canva crown. So in this case, let's go ahead and just use a free one. I'm just gonna use this one here, and we're gonna hit customize template, okay? So now what we can do here is apply all nine pages so that everything is applied to our timeline down at the bottom. Now we're gonna go back and we are going to add in our brand colors. So hit the styles tab here. Now right now I am in my selected and preferred brand kit. Now with Canva Pro you have the option of creating multiple but if you have the free version of Canva you can only make one brand kit and if you don't know how to make your brand kit i do have a video on my channel right over here that you can check out and i show you step by step how to add in your colors your fonts and your logos as well all right so let's go ahead and shuffle through the color palette here and just keep clicking on it and clicking on it until you find what looks the best with your colors here or you can very simply just go ahead and manually change out the colors but let's say we like this color format i'm just going to hit apply all pages here and then i'm going to add in the text here so that my font is already selected like that and again go to the apply so it is applied to the rest of the pages here all right cool stuff okay but let's say for example we did not like the front cover page what we can do is go back to templates look up real estate and let's just browse through the different templates that are here so let's let's use this one i'm just going to click on this and it's going to replace the first page here again if we go back here just delete that out so we can go back into styles and again we can also filter through the different colors and see what looks best or again manually change the colors out okay and again let's add in our preferred fonts here as well now in this case we can delete that element there if you don't like it we can also delete this photo here and then we can go in and add our own photos now what I do suggest is creating a folder yourself of your photos and if you don't want to do that you got to go back to the home page on canva go to the projects tab go up here to add new and add folder and here you can let's just say test and here you can add in your photos so we clicked on that folder add new just go to the upload and then you can import all of your photos into here so in order to find that folder in the editing window, we would go to projects again, go to folders, and it should be somewhere in here. In this case, I have my folder already made. I'm going to go to example here. And then now at this point, what we can do is just delete that logo, add in your own logo or your company's logo here, put EXP there, and now we can just change out the text here so go ahead and use a motto or a slogan you have here so let's just say smart move starts here and I'm just gonna make this smaller make it smaller 
just like that. Okay, and then again, you can add in some more text at the bottom here. Let's just say the guide to selling your home for more money in less time in any market condition. Okay, now let's say we just wanted to make this centered like that. Select this all again, and I'm going to center that. So now you have your front page here. Now what we can do is add in different page animations. So right now, if you take a look up here, this specific page is already on the rise animation, and we can change that to different things. So let's say we want to do a pan, but we can also animate single elements on the page. So we can animate a, a logo or a picture. In this case, we can do like a fade, a breathe in. And again, with the Canva Pro, you have all the options to using these different animations. If you have the free version, you may only have an option for a select few animations and page animations, okay? So let's do here, we can animate this text here so we can do a block, so something like that. And you can go ahead and animate all of these page animations if you want, but currently as it stands, there is no animation on the rest of these pages. As you can see, it just says animate here, but if we were to put something in, it would change to whatever that page animation is named. But in this case, we can just either remove that animation or apply it to all pages. In this case, I'm going to just remove the animation and instead just do a block on every heading like that just so it's a little bit more interesting i'm going to click on that text again right so that's kind of how you use the page animations and the element and text animations and how to change the text and how to add in photos now what i want to show you next is some of the different page layouts that you have access to so if you are wanting to add in a different page what we can do is either create one from scratch by just adding a new page in like that. Or in this case, let me just add in here, another page here, we're gonna go to, again, we are in the design tab here, we're gonna go into layouts. And because we are selected in this specific brand color, it's gonna show you different layouts in that brand color with your preferred fonts as well. Now you have a variety and option to many. What I like to use is this timeline one, which is nice. Another one that is great is, let's see here, let me add in another page here. I like to use these ones. So with this one, I like to embed either another Canva design here or embed a YouTube video. And I'm gonna show you how to do both. So let's first embed a YouTube video. So in this case, I like to put my videos in the front and I want to pick a video that is related to, you know, sellers. So in this case, let's go ahead and grab the link for this video here. And now there's three ways we can embed a video into Canva. The first one is very easy. Control or command V. Give it a second here. Now, the other two ways to embed a video, if you're having some troubleshooting, we can do the backslash key on our keyboard, which is the backslash with the question mark. And that's your magic search. So if we look up embed, we can also paste in our link here as well, and that will paste in our YouTube video. The third way to embed a video is go to the app section down on the bottom here, and we can look for YouTube. And that is the YouTube app. And again, just paste in that link and just click on the video and it will embed just like that. All right, so I like to give you a few options just in case you do have some troubles embedding your videos because it can be a little bit, a little bit finicky at times, depending on the day, it seems. All right, the next thing that we can do here is embed another Canva design. So let me grab a, another layout page here and on this case because this is a listing presentation i want to embed my seller's guide now when it comes to your listing presentation we want to keep your listing presentation very short and concise so keep your listing presentation in regards to how you are going to help your seller 
sell their home for the most amount of money and the least amount of time. So they really don't care about your whole biography. So we want to keep it concise. So in this case, I like to add in a seller's guide, which has more detail about myself and about the home buying process. So we are just delivering information in different mediums. So let me go to the homepage again. And now we want to search for our seller's guide. So I have mine right here. So this is a guide that I am also selling on my Etsy shop. So if you want to check it out, link is down below in the description box. But again, if you're partnered with myself here at EXP Realty with the Wolfpack, you get all of my real estate Canva templates for free. Now we want to go up to the share button and we are looking for, we're going to go down to more here. We are looking for the embed. So go ahead and click that and we want the smart embed link. Okay. So go ahead and copy that. Go back into your presentation design and very simply make sure you're clicked on that page. We just want to command or control V and this is going to embed that design here. Isn't that insane? Now this is again, interactable. If that is a word, double click here and then we can start to go through this design here. All right. The next thing I want to show you is how to create clickable social media icons here. So let's just move all this up here. And let's say we want to create an icon for email, which is already on the page here. But let's say it wasn't, we're going to grab our email here. We are going to grab our YouTube logo here. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab Instagram. Oop, I spelled it wrong. That's okay. Okay. All right. And if you wanted to, you can do your website as well. And I typically like this one here. All right, let's go ahead and add in our links. But first, let me just make sure they are all in the middle. You kind of want to make sure that they are the same size. So it looks good. So now let's go ahead and add our link here. So we are clicked on the email one. This one's easy. All you have to do is just put in your, your email address, uh, exp, oops, I don't even know my own email. Okay. Then just click enter. Let's make sure that it's properly pop pop you populated. So mail to at your email address. That is correct. Okay. Now we're going to go in, grab our links here. Oop. We're going to paste this in, paste that. Let's just grab our Instagram here. Again, let's go and paste paste that I accidentally paste it to the page, which you can do if you want to. And let me grab this here. Again, you can use your actual real estate website, but I just like to put a link tree. So I have multiple links in multiple places. Okay. So that is all clickable. And this is going to be clickable when you present this as a presentation website. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So after you have gone through all this and put in all your necessary information, again, if you have a YouTube real estate channel and you have property tours in here, I would suggest to embed those videos as a way to highlight your work and to showcase your marketing skills. Now, if you are a realtor and you want to learn how to utilize social media to help you attract clients at scale, definitely book a call with me using my link down below. And I can show you what we do here at the Wolfpack, which is social media and video marketing, which is our forte here. So now what we're going to do is go to the share button up here and we can display this again as a website. Okay. So if we click on here, website and we are in the web style presentation Now you do have different options as to how you want to display the canvas site, but we're just going to use presentation. We're going to open this up and see what it looks like. Okay. 
So we see here our page transition, our animation for our text as well. And if we go through, oh, let's go back here. Let's see if this video, we can click on this video here. It is playable. And if we continue on to the next page here, we can see our guide here. And again, if we hover down at the bottom, we can actually see our different slides in place here. Now, if we go to the last page here, we had our clickable icons. I know this one is clickable. If I click on it, it will boot me out of this screen to open up my mail. So let's, in this case, let's just click on the YouTube icon. So that is properly linked and click on this one that's properly linked and let's click on that one that is properly linked. All right, so that is your Canva presentation as a website. Now you can take this link and shorten this using a platform like Bitly, or you can just take this link and just simply save this somewhere and use it whenever you need to email this out to a potential client. Now what I wanna share here with you is another mega Canva tip, which I recently just discovered. Okay, super excited about this one. Okay, so let me just exit out of this screen here. Let's go back into our design here. Now, I don't know why it took me this long to discover the fact that you can actually present and record your presentation, meaning that you can screen record your presentation and record yourself and have audio all at the same time. So everything you're watching right now as the way that I create my tutorials, you can do that with Canva. So let's go to the present and record button here. So we're gonna click up next. So I remember I just clicked present here, print, present and record, let's click next. Now we can go to the recording studio. Now you want to make sure you let Canva have permission to your audio and camera, which I have already done previously. So we're gonna start recording. So if you, you can also do no camera, as well if you just want to do audio but i recommend you show your face it, it builds that like trust and no factor and your clients will feel comfortable with you and they will feel like they already know you before they actually know you okay that's how you become that agent okay so i have my mic already selected here as well and we are just going to start recording okay now the only caveat here is that you cannot move your floating head so we cannot move this this guy here so it is where it is. Now, this is recording. You can see here the time stop here. If you do have some notes, you will see that on this side here, which I will show you how to do. Again, unfortunately, you cannot play this, these videos in here and you cannot play around with any of this. So anything that is in here is unfortunately not clickable, which is kind of the only caveat here. Well, let's say we are just, we can pause and come back to this catch our breath, take a sip of water and resume here. And again, keep going till the end. Now we can hit the end record. Now it's going to basically save this as a link. Now here is another little caveat. So remember how I showed you how you could display your presentation as a website presentation. Now, essentially what's going to happen now is that this link is attached to that website presentation link. So let me go ahead and just paste, oop, paste that link in here. So we previously just recorded this here. Okay. We just, we just recorded this. And if you take a look here, you'll see these dots on the timeline. So this is actually showing you where you made the page changes okay and your client will actually have the ability to watch this at 2x speed if they wanted to so that is that let me just exit out of here so let's go back to here back to our design here let me just you can either again download this directly to your desktop if you want to but in this case let's just save and exit now this is what i want to kind of reframe again. So remember how we talked about that website and having it in presentation mode right now, because we recorded that video, that video is linked to that same link. Okay. So if you do want to present your presentation as a website, you will either have to remove the video from this presentation mode or select a different website here or different website format here. And again, with this, you are able to again, play 
the video out click all of the stuff you have here and again click at the bottom here for your your social media icons okay so this is just up to preference whatever you want to do i'm just showing you all of your options now let's say you just want it to be in presentation mode in the web style but you want your video so in this case what i suggest you to do is to again go to the present mode present and record next and download this video and take this video and upload it to youtube as an unlisted video okay and at this point what we can do is just to again hit the present mode present and record and next and i'm going to delete this recording okay and it's going to be saying you cannot be undone okay now if we go back here and we go up to the share mode again we can see here that if we open up the web style in presentation mode it is now once again a clickable presentation where you can go through and actually click on the different elements here now like i said i would suggest you to take that video you just recorded of your presentation insert it probably on your second slide here so that they can actually click through the video uh, okay so let me just get out of here all right here now let me show you a few other things here if you do decide to to present your website or your presentation in the different web styles what i suggest you to do is to add some headings here so video presentation i can't spell today uh, let's see here youtube channel let's add in here seller guide let's put home here and now if, if you want to add notes to your presentation as well take a look down here this is the notes tab presenter notes if you open that up here you can add in in notes here and on different pages okay so like i said if you are presenting in the present and record window we are basically just going in circles here. <laughs> We're going in circles here. But your notes should appear on the right hand side here. You just have to make sure you to just uh, reload your presentation on the back end so it does show up that way. But let me just end this recording, cancel or discard this. Let's go back to the editing window. Now let's go and let me show you how to, what happens when you add in the headings here. So let's say if you were doing a standard web style site it's going to show up here in the different tabs here but let's see if i make this bigger if i made this uh, my browser bigger the menu will actually show up on the side here so youtube video so it actually looks like a website but it is just a presentation being displayed as a, basically a one long landing page so that is how you use presentations in Canva. So let me know if you try this out. Let me know what is your favorite feature. And I can't wait to see what your presentations will look like. So go ahead. If you got this, you're going to win that listing. Now that you have your listing presentation ready to go, it's time to win that listing. And then the next step is to promote that listing. So in this video right over here, I show you how to create a single page property website for free using Canva websites. This again will impress your sellers, find you that buyer, and of course, make you that agent. So if you're ready, three, two, one, go.